and illustrating Diary of a Wimpy Kid. But it wasn't for kids. In fact, the first draft was 1,300 pages long, and it was meant to be uh, sort of a, a primer or a, a nostalgia piece for adults. Diary of a Wimpy Kid was my Bible, and I lived by the scripture at 11 years old. It was something about Greg's nihilistic and narcissistic point of view that really captured my young, impressionable mind. I was obsessed with the books and even the films. Not this, of course. Anyways, I think this was one of the reasons it was so popular for kids my age. They could really relate to the middle school mentality that the books captured so well. There was always something about Manny, though. I always hated and wanted to destroy that little runt. Just look at him all smug and content with those chompers, bro, come on. But like everybody else, I grew up, and that era of my life was over. I would never get to enjoy the Wimpy Kid cinematic universe again. They even replaced the original actors cast for the role in the films. Once I saw New Roderick, I knew it was all over. I knew it. I knew it. Or so I thought. On February 12, 2018, the subreddit r slash loaded diaper dedicated exclusively to inappropriate edits and memes of Diary of a Wimpy Kid was created. Wham, bam, Yo, slam, this birthed some <clears throat> bonissimo content that was both artistic, crude, and funny, and most importantly, new. It made the Wimpy Kid come back to life, shining in a whole nother spotlight for now its adult viewers. Their first feat was taking on Big Book based on movies, BBBOM and making hashtag not my Roderick a viral hashtag, protesting the casting of actor Charlie Wright as the character Roderick Hifley in the verily hated film Diary of Wimpy Kid, The Long Haul. Wow, this was such an amazing and beautiful, powerful movement, even getting the original Roderick to respond. The freaking pimp himself. Fox just sent me the new trailer for Diary of Wimpy Kid, The Long Haul and asked me to make a reaction video. I, I was so busy last year, I don't even remember filming it, but um, I'm gonna check it out on IMDb, relive some old memories, and watch the trailer, give you my thoughts. Whoa. Um, my bad guy, I'm, I'm, I'm not in this movie. Uh, Charlie Wright. That guy, looks, that guy actually looks a lot more like Roderick than this was pretty iconic and I would say the most popular movement, but what really made me love this culture were the memes. Yeah, I had a pretty deep relationship with memes. I was that kid in middle school at the back of the bus using iPhone. I was bullied. I know it's hated in some communities, but I stand my ground. It was the app that made me feel at home. Anyways, these Diary of Wimpy Kid memes really brought back my love for them. They were random, dark, and were really off the rails. Let us take a look at some of them. Here we have Redditor Roderick, an image depicting a pregnant Roderick alongside a big chungus creature, while Greg creeps on them through a window, at an unknown location. Is this the Hifley household? Did Roderick move out with Chungus to start a new life? I don't know. It's all a mystery. Number 2. Greg is depicted here in a sleeping state, having a nightmare. In his nightmare, there is a small figure, bunny-like in appearance, saying bro sound effect number 2 while he tells it off. This is what bruh sound effect number two sounds like. Bruh. 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 Number three, this is a work of wonder, the Manny Cave. They say a picture's worth a thousand words, this is worth more. This is where Bruh. I shall conceive my first born Bruh. fuck Valis right here, bro. Meme number four, Greg, Manny, and Roderick beg for their foreskin in this one, tormenting their father until they get it back. Um, I rate this one a 10 out of 10. In this one, it seems that Greg sold Manny and didn't get the stuff he wanted. Here's the alternate version, I guess. Hell yeah, we're on meme number 6 now. This is my favorite one. Greg is fed up, and that eye funny watermark makes it perfect. He zooied his last mama. And finally, we have the official tweets by Greg himself, stating multiple things, like Manny is trapped in a furnace, warning him to not eat soup due to unforeseen consequences that we cannot talk about on YouTube, as well as Manny hate coming from his own dad and mom. Dark stuff, but fascinating, I guess. All these dark memes can definitely be attributed somewhat to the Greg is a Sociopath videos, specifically the original Holy Grail created by Monkey Jones. If you don't know who this guy is, you're in for a surprise. 
Monkey is known for his videos and series about spree killer Elliot Roger, which I'm going to be kicked off of YouTube if I talk about. The self-described diversion who unalived people because he couldn't smash. We're using simple terms here not to piss off the YouTube gods. Anyways, on December 11th, 2018, his channel was terminated for violating YouTube's community guidelines, though the Greg is a sociopath video was reposted. In the video, he breaks down and dissects Greg's personality, calling Greg out for his lies in order to receive praise and respect from those around him, ultimately building up a case to classify him as a sociopath. People find this video rather comedic though, and it stuck around. Though sometimes a joke can turn serious. Believe it or not, a character from the series became a political figure. Yeah. On June 8th, 2020, TikTok user The Manny Spotted posted a video of someone drawing Manny at an Oregon protest, while a person nearby says, The Manny will not be televised, gaining over 900,000 likes. The following weeks, graffiti pieces depicting Manny with slogans in support of the protest, such as ACAB and Freak the Police, appeared everywhere across Portland and the United States, going viral on Twitter and TikTok alike, using the character as a symbol against the police and the government as a whole. Just take a look at some of these images depicting the god himself, Manny. Some even created flags of the character in order to support the movement, getting millions of signatures to change the American flag to this shit. Hell yeah, brother, and Manny we trust. Fanfics are the most recent trend, though. I call it the fanfic era. One of my favorites, as some of my subscribers know, is the fanfic titled 25 Years Later. I think it's actually the most popular one too, with 4 million views on YouTube alone, taking place 25 years into the future where Manny is basically hated by the entire family. Roderick is married, and he has a kid, and Greg falls in love with Rowley, although he doesn't reciprocate the same feelings. Also, Greg's dad is revealed to have lung cancer. I've actually read this and it's up on my channel right now if you want to listen to the complete story. That's an extremely unique lesson. I also just found out that someone animated the entire story, so there's that too. Well, this is it. The source of all my problems. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I didn't even go to his funeral. I just know that I have to end my suffering somehow. Wait, someone's coming? <laughs> Tell me to get out, will ya? This rivals mostly everything Marvel has ever made.